And welcome back everybody to more Tokyo Jungle. Uh, you may remember last time we did some really awful things with some Pomeranians. And uh, they were they were something of, of like, you know, the, the fluffy little master race of Tokyo. Until they ran into an elephant and a, uh, and a, and a crocodile. The elephant we got away from. The, cro the crocodile we did not. Is the crocodile- the crocodile gave me hope? And the elephant just kind of shut my shit down. So, what uh, what we also did last time is we unlocked the rest of um, the data pieces that we needed so that we could go on into story mode. So we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves kicked off with that. With Act 1, Pampered to Survival Mode. The pet food at home has run out and there's no one left to care for you. You must now fend for yourself. It is time. Time to wake the wild beast within the Pomeranian. Join us, friends. As we seek sustenance in a world where our owners have abandoned us. In the Shibuya suburbs. This apartment is home to a Pomeranian, now without an owner. Oh, poor buddy. The once generous food stores have hit rock bottom. It's time to fend for yourselves. The days of being coddled pet are at an end. The time to rise from toy dog to noble beast is at hand. Oh, you're not very good at this, buddy. Your first day with no pet food has come and gone. You're really bad at this. If you have no luck hunting, you'll starve to death. It's a good thing that we forced you to play survival mode for 30 years before we let you out into the world. Alright! Time to hunt ourselves some rabbit! I know I'm hot. Oh, wow. I'm really hungry. Yep. And that is that. Tonight we feast on rabbit. Oh. Thank you for reminding me how to jump in case I didn't just like play the game. Oh, I can be sneaky? Oh, I'm a sneaky Pomeranian. I did not remember how to do that. This makes some things a lot easier. Oh no, come back. Come back. Come back. There we go. Now we can eat in the privacy of the tall grass. And we'll just hope that no Pokemon interrupt us. Come on, pal. Yep. Yeah. I wonder if my jacket does anything for me. A little like sports jacket. Night has fallen. Find a safe place to make your bed. Hey man, I know that as a Pomeranian I need to claim my territory before I can just go sleep somewhere. And I also apparently can't sleep until I have a mate. So, I don't know what kind of shenanigans you're trying to pull on me, story mode. Trying to get to you. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, or I can. Come on, grass. What's there? What is? It? No, that's not a thing. This is not a bet. What? Uh oh. It's the layer's owner. Defeat them and claim it for your own. Not only do we have a place to sleep. Oh, snap! You know, buddy, you can, you can, you can eat that. Can't 
Get it, Pomeranian! You know how to live, son. Ooh. Fat cat! No, fat cat! We gotta work on your four hit combo, little guy. Now, now we feed on your body. Yeah. Do I get to sleep now? Little Pomeranian buddy get to sleep now? Yeah, you do. Work it, son. You killed the cat and claimed its territory. You're far from a toy dog. You're a bona fide hunter now. You're overwhelmed by a new sense that you could never have felt before. The sense of murder. The sense of death. Oh, don't be the end of the story part. Stories need to be totally longer. Six minutes is nowhere near long enough for an episode. Come on now. Throw me, throw me, throw me a Pomeranian bone. No? Nothing? Oh, alright. Alright. Okay, we've gotten our first story down. And uh, I suppose with that, let's, let's go ahead and see what kind of new animals we've unlocked in the bestiary. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess there's like, there's probably a different storyline for each type of creature. So we need to continue. As we are going to need to be playing both uh, grazers and predators. So, uh, this should hurt. So we're, we're, we're gonna be a deer now, guys. We have, we have changed from the vicious Pomeranian to the, the sickly sick of deer. I mean, it's not sickly yet. It might be by the time I'm done with it, though. Alright. Because I have to go around and eat lots of plants. Step one, eat the grasses. I eat all the grasses. Okay. Yeah, so I know I know I pointed these out um, previously. Can I kill things in the dirt? Oh! <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, oh god, I'm getting the crap kicked out of me by a chicken. Don't, don't stop to graze! You have a chicken to kill, buddy! Get your head in the game, dear! Oh, man, alright. Alright. Alright, we keep going, we keep going. Yeah! Uh, I don't think I get any points for killing stuff as a deer, though. Mostly because these things don't like- they're not- they're not scared of me. <laughs> oh, I just- I, I can't get over how fun it is just kick bunny rabbits to death. <laughs> that might make me a bad person. And I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. Oh, dude, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. Deer versus beagle. Yeah! Oh, that did not kill it. That is, that is not good at all. <laughs> hey guys, you uh, you, you, you can't trust me with deer, I'm sorry. I'm... They're, they're not safe in my care. I only do well with small dogs. <sighs> Survival points, zero. It's just zero. So, so that happened. All right, um, we're uh, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and break here. Uh, you know, we we we've learned that you know Pomeranians have the ability to take life into their own hands, uh, and that and that uh, sick deer 
Sikadu should not be in in my care because I I don't I don't do well with them. But uh, but next time, next time y'all get to watch me struggle through uh through the life of an herbivore, something that I refuse to do outside of a game, and I'm loath to do inside of one. So I'll see you guys next time, and uh, and we can scream together as I try to kick more beagles to death. Y'all have yourselves a good evening.